Hi, I'm Karen Weeks. Hi, I'm Sarah Thorpe. And this is California State Proposition 32. You'll see it on your ballot as raises minimum wage. It is an initiative statute. So Sarah, what does Proposition 32 pose to California voters? Prop 32 poses the question, should California raise the state minimum wage for all employers to $18 per hour by 2026 and thereafter adjust the rate annually based on inflation? What's the current situation, Sarah? Since January 2024, the California state minimum wage is $16 per hour for all businesses, except fast food restaurants, which is $20 per hour. State law can set higher minimum wages for employers in some industries. For instance, health care has specific laws regarding minimum wage increases, depending on the size of the employer, the type of facility, etc. What does Prop 32 propose? In 2025, this proposition would increase the minimum wage from $16 per hour to $18 per hour for employers with 26 or more employees. Employers with 25 or fewer employees would have to pay a minimum wage of $17 per hour. Then, in 2026, the minimum wage would be $18 per hour for all employees. And will there be any further adjustments? Yes, starting in 2027, minimum wage will be adjusted annually based on inflation. The state's adjustments would mirror the U.S. inflation rate, but will never be less than zero or more than 3.5% per year. And what would the fiscal impact be of these changes? That would depend. Higher minimum wages tend to, tend to push up wages for other workers. Businesses paying higher wages would likely pass increases along to customers, and higher wages could reduce some business profits. On the other hand, with increased incomes, there could be fewer people enrolled in programs like Medi-Cal, which could lower state and local government costs. The change of revenue could reduce the state's general fund, but likely that change would be less than one-half to one percent, one-half of one percent. And what do supporters say about Prop 32? Supporters say every Californian who works a full 40-hour week should be able to afford life's basic needs. People need to be able to afford rent and feed their families. They say increased income boosts the economies of local communities and creates more jobs in the communities. And taxpayers should not subsidize corporations that choose to pay low wages, enabling those corporations to keep profits for their owners. And now what do opponents say? Opponents say Prop 32 forces small businesses to increase prices, adding to inflation and raising the cost of living in California even more. They say Prop 32 costs jobs with the greatest impact on teens and people of color in entry-level jobs. And they say the market, not politicians and bureaucrats, ought to dictate the financial growth and success of working men and women in California. What does the campaign financing look like for this proposition? $11.5 million has been contributed in support of Prop 32, and $55,000 has been contributed in opposition. You can see the top contributors on the screen. So in summary, what does a yes vote mean and a no vote mean? A yes vote approves increasing the state minimum wage to $18 per hour by 2026. Thereafter, the rate adjusts annually based on inflation. A no vote means the state minimum wage remains at $16 per hour. Thanks so much, Sarah. You're welcome, Karen.